This is a rare one for me. This is a raw review. I usually don't do reviews. Because you might as well do all of them. But I think this week, I'm going to do a review to every show. That is Raw, SmackDown, and Dynamite. These are the only shows I really watch. I might catch collisions sometime. But the main three shows is the main ones I watch. So, let's get straight to Monday Night Raw. And I forgot to put on my community post. What was the show of the week last week? But it's too late for that now. But, uh... This is a raw review, and I think overall we'll give it, I'm going to get this out of the way. Overall, 1 out of 10, I give it a solid 8. It, it was really a decent show. Beginning to the end, really. Uh, It kept me on my feet, really. It, it made me want to stay until what was going on with Seth and See a Paul, Drew McIntyre, the Wyatt Six. I was anxious to see how that was. It was decent. It was decent, you know. Cool main event, though. I, I get what they was doing. Uh, okay, I got to point this out, though. Chad Gable is American made, which is greatness. I think that's fucking dope. But can anybody tell me? Tell me why. Why Sonya Deville and them girls can't get a damn tag team made? A, a faction made? How does that sound? Damage control versus Sonya, uh, Zoe Stark, and Shayna. Like, dude, nobody would nobody to say all them damn names. It's way easier if she says, the winners are the Dominators, the Tribe, the... I don't know. The tribalism, I mean, the adversary. I mean, it's so many days you can just get these girls. Yet, these girls can't get faction days, but damage control is clear as day. It's, it's damage control. <laughs> Why you won't just give the other group a tag team name? For the life of me, I can't understand that. But Chad Gable, his team, got a name Right away. What? They just debuted together. What, like two weeks ago or was it last week? I think it was last week when they, they finally came. They debuted with Chad Gable. No, not a three-way. But still under Chad Gable's uh, influence pretty much. So you can't, you know, that don't even count. They wasn't a full trios yet. But the fact they got a name is still the point. But anyway, let's get on to Raw. I like all the stories it told. I like the I like the Judgment Day, how that's going. Damien Priest, it is so weird with him, bro. It's, it's weird. As soon as you lose the title, now I'm kind of like, damn, I kind of wish he was still champ a little bit. Don't get me wrong, though. I fucks with Gunther simply. They Kept moving Kaiser with him. That damn introduction makes him look like mighty fucking Bison. That's who he reminds me of. Bison. I love keep moving Kaiser with that. I'm so glad that Gunther has that. Because that makes him look like a big fight feel. I love that. That's exactly how it makes him look like. This is a big fight about to happen. And speaking of big fights, Bash of Berlin, we got Red Yorn versus Gunther. You really can say number one. He Gunther won by technicality. He, he didn't really pin or, or submit him. But this is number two, the official. We're going to have an official winner, which is going to be Gunther. But Randy, that shocked me because Randy was in SmackDown. So I kind of like that. So I'm hoping... I'm really hoping we get other people for Raw coming to SmackDown to face Cody. Because Cody at this point right now really don't have any contenders. What, Roman? But he's kind of like an endgame guy. He, Roman don't need to be in the title picture right now. He's got a bloodline war to, to worry about. But um, Randy and 
Gunther, they have a nice little face to face. Randy is fucking humongous, bro. Like, I don't know what happened to this dude, but this dude is huge. Like, dude is huge, bro. Uh, but I'm definitely waiting H's for that. Uh, our truth, the awesome truth versus who they go against? Yeah, who they go against? Oh, A Town Under. Now, I was actually happy that A Town Under won. I definitely thought they was going to lose. Shouts out to The Miz real quick, bro. The Miz is like, what, 40 something? And he's doing shit in the ring I've never, ever thought he would be doing in the ring, bro. That's crazy to me. Shouts out to him. But uh, what else we had? JD Madonna, David Priest. It, it went exactly how I should have went. You know, the all the shenanigans of interference with the Judgment Day and all that. And I like how it's, like, divided. It's, like, it's two warfares going on in big factions. We got the Bloodline with their warfare. Now we got the Judgment Day with their warfare. So, yeah, I, I like how everything's going with that. Then you got, uh, I already mentioned the main event. The main event was pretty decent. Pretty decent main event. The fact they got the main event is saying a lot, really, you know. I still think they should have been on SummerSlam, but it is what it is. Uh, Brian Breaker and Sami Zayn, two out of three falls. That's about to be dope. Uh, I really don't know. What if Brian Breaker lose? I don't know at this point, really. But, uh, man, there's a lot of good shit going on that happened overall. Uh, I like I like the whole... Seth, I love when Seth and CM Punk is in the ring, bro. Because you could just tell they professionals, but you could tell they do not fuck with each other. Seth do all that dancing and prancing, but when it comes to Punk, bro, he just do not like this dude. <laughs> I love it. Them two in the ring is always great because I don't ever know what's going to happen or what they're going to say to each other. So... I always enjoy Seth and CM Punk in the ring. Drew fucking McIntyre. The whole effing show McIntyre. The new best in the world. He finally got his justice. Shots out to him. The man. The conqueror. The the man of men, bro. Drew McIntyre is the shit. Tell you. Uh... What else we got, man? What else happened? Damage control. Well, Eel Sky went against Sonya Deville. You know, a little filler match. It was decent. Oh. Um, what else happened? I Like I already said, with the girls, with the damn Sonya Deville, you know, I don't know why they ain't giving them damn girls a goddamn name. It's just like, what? just give them a, a name. What, what's so hard about that? Just give them a team name. Uh, who else would Lyra Vicara? Did she go against somebody? She went against Shayna Baszler. That's right. Uh, so you know, another little decent little filler match, you know. Uh, but as far as the entering goes, it was it was decent at best. It really wasn't no match of the night. I can point out all the matches kind of served its purpose. Oh, I got to point out one thing that I put on my community post already before, and it seemed like nobody's really paying attention, bro. Xavier Woods is about to turn on a new day. I'm trying to tell you. I hope y'all been paying attention to his body language, paying attention to his facials. He's about to turn. Think about it. By the way, Odyssey Jones, never seen him at NXT or never really got to see him like that, so... That was a pretty good impression. Picking up those two big ass dudes like that got the crowd to pop. You know what I'm saying? So that was a that was a good impression. Uh, so you got that going on. And, but back to Zara Woods though, you should have seen. You should have seen how he was looking when he was like, oh, "I didn't know you guys was friends," and he was like, "Yeah." I, Kofi was like, yeah, I told him we need help, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Karrion Cross is getting into his head. 
and I like what the story is being told. Now, I don't like, one thing I don't like is the authors of Pain keep jobbing out. They got rolled up. It's not like a fluke win, but I don't like them jobbing out, though, bro. I just don't, because I think the Final Testament got a lot of potential to be that. It, I got. I think they got a lot of potential to take the final, the uh, the Judgment Day's place. Honestly, as a top faction or all, I think they got a lot of potential to do that. Give it a little bit more time, maybe a little bit direction. I just think they need some credible wins for people to care if Xavier Woods do turn, because you got to think about the reaction. To all this what comes afterwards so what comes if he does turn on the new day which he is he's about to turn and what comes with that if he joins you know final testament is he going to be a darker character is he going to be the leader i mean he's obviously the biggest star out of if he joined i don't know we'll just have to see but uh Another thing. What was another thing I was thinking of? I had to point out that Xavier Woods, though. I, I just, I see it coming. It's going to happen. And they going to get us when nobody's paying attention, really. I don't think many people's paying attention to that. Xavier Woods is going to turn. It's just a matter of time. Uh, What else happened? A few things happened on Raw. Probably forgetting. My dude, Bronson Reed. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I've been fucking with Bronson Reed since last year. I never really heard of him or knew about him before he showed up as a bodyguard for the Miz. But what got, bro, I don't know, it's something about he's a big guy that don't need a manager. That's what I like about him. Usually big dudes like that need a manager. He gave me a lot of Mark Henry vibes. I thought it was going to be Otis that was going to be Mark Henry. He still got potential, but it's for sure it's going to be Bronson Reed that's going to be Mark Henry over uh, Otis. Because he was he fucked Seth Rollins up, bro. Like, what, five tsunamis? Tsunami! Like, man, that was, that was good shit. I know Seth's going to probably most likely beat him, but that's good. You know, rotate and make the big stars rub shoulders with guys that need it. That's the whole point. You got to have your stars rub shoulders with people that need that look. Winning and losing, it depends on what it's like. Now, winning is always a, is really no way to win. It is. That could be, that could fall flat. A win can fall flat sometimes. Then a loss, okay, a loss is a loss, but it depends on how you lose. If Bronson Reed loses to Seth, which he is, which is okay if Seth beat him clean, but Seth is going to struggle. Seth's going to have a hard time. We know that part. But I like it, though. I, I like the idea that Bronson Reed is getting himself involved with big stars because, dude, Bronson Reed has big star potential to me. Big star potential, bro. He can talk. And then it's something about him when he came, when he sometimes come in the suits. It's something about guys in suits that just make them look like stars. Like automatically in my mind, they just look like a star, especially if they can talk. Bronson Reed ain't the greatest talker, but he, he can talk well enough where he don't need a mouthpiece. You know, but Bronson Reed, man, that, that's good. With Bronson Reed, what happened with that? Speaking of Luvin Kaiser, though, Luvin Kaiser winning against Sheamus. Now that that was probably match of the night, honestly. So I think about it. That was probably like in ring. It was probably the best match of the night. Um, Sheamus, man, he's still he's still kicking ass, man. Got to give it to Sheamus, bro. <laughs> Sheamus is a monster, bro. Uh. I, I like the thing they going on with Pete Dunn, though. You feel me? Uh, the silent, violent mind, basically. You know, uh, he he's giving me Sabu vibes. 
I, like something about him gave me Sabu vibes where Sabu is a guy that did not need to talk at all and he just got a presence. Now I'm not saying not dare saying Butch got that presence, but he gives me Sabu vibes where his unpredictability and he don't say anything. So you don't he give you these extremely vicious evil looks. He don't say anything. You know what I'm saying? He's unpredictable. He's a firecracker. He just pops. You feel me? But Sheamus is going to most likely beat him. But maybe not. Maybe that's Shillelagh. Hit, hit his ass in the nuts with or something. He beat Sheamus. I mean, like I just said, you need to have your big stars mingle with stars that need that look. Luva Kaiser lost, but he needed that look. You know what I'm saying? Most likely they might have a rematch and Luva Kaiser is going to win. Which I think he should. Luva Kaiser has a lot of potential to be a top, top, mega player in the WWE, bro. I, I just see, like, it's a few people I just see money on, bro. Like, I, I see Odyssey Jones doing a lot of, doing some shit, really. The newest member of the New Day, which which is dope. That's different. We I didn't think it was going to happen. I honestly didn't think it was going to happen because my boy Big E, you know, hurt. And it's, it's not the same without him. It's just not. But if Odyssey Jones is somewhat of a temporary replacement, that's cool. That's if Xavier Woods don't turn, though. I, I see that coming. I, ain't nobody about to change my mind on that. Xavier Woods is going to turn. I fuss with Karrion Cross. I don't care if they are kind of jobbers, like lower mid car guys. I like the final test, but like I said earlier, they have a lot of potential to be the top faction in Raw the next two years. You give them a little time just to really build. I think they can be the top faction of Raw. Karrion Cross has world championship material written all over him. I can just imagine Karrion Cross was Randy Orton in a serious feud. I, like, Karrion Cross, Odyssey Jones, Brian Breaker, Ludwig Kaiser, uh, Bronson Reed, these guys are just money to me. Like, something about that new roster, that new wave of guys that I just think is, is waiting to just do great things in the future. But, um, uh, did I miss anything on Raw? Let me really think real quick. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else, but uh, the the highlight for me, even though it's even though it's not a genuine highlight, what most people would say, but bro, Xavier Woods is going to turn. That's a highlight for me. That's worse than the Shield because shit, the New Day, what was together for how many fucking years? The Shield was only together about two years, but two or three years, not even full two three years. It was two years. The New Day been together since what fucking. 20, I don't forgot what time they got together, but still, they've been together for a minute. So if Xavier was turned, it's going to it's gonna really touch home. You're like, damn, they really been together this long and he turned on his ass? But that's all I got to say for that, man. What do y'all think of Raw?